Welcome back. Time now for Word of the Day, where I break down a financial term or concept for our very smart viewer, but maybe not the financial expert in our audience. And today it is technocrat. And we've been talking about how technocrats are in charge now in Rome and Athens. And here's one other reason why you need to know about what exactly this means. Here's a headline that we saw today. Let's see it. Letting technocrats run Europe is bad politics and bad economics. Okay, whoa, so just what is a technocrat that this guy's railing against? Well, here is the definition. It is someone who is selected through bureaucratic processes, and that's the key, on the basis of specialized knowledge and performance rather than a democratic or popular election. In a technocracy, decision makers would be selected based upon how knowledgeable and skillful they are in their field. So, let's talk about technocrats and who these guys are in Europe right now. So in Italy, you have this guy, Mario Monti. He's the new prime minister. He replaces Berlusconi. Now, he's not a politician like Berlusconi. He's an economist and former commissioner of the European Union. He's also the current European chairman of the Trilateral Commission. And in Greece, who has replaced Prime Minister Papandreou as the head of the unity government, it's a technocrat, Lucas, Lucas Papademos, this guy here. He is former central banker. He was a vice president of the European Central Bank and former governor of the Bank of Greece. So these guys weren't elected by the citizens of the countries to serve in parliament, and that's the key. As to whether countries are better off being ruled by unelected bureaucrats, which are technocrats, or democratically elected leaders, you can decide that. But now you know what a technocrat is.